can't believe what the owner of our holiday house did. So here we are driving down the coast. The place was about a three hour drive from ours. Compared to our last road trip, the kids were so good. Leo had a 45 minute nap, then watched Cat in the Hat and Mia slept for majority of it. So we arrive at Barara, which is a small town near Sussex Inlet on the South Coast. And look what was there when we arrived, an inflatable bin chicken. For anyone that doesn't know, bin chickens are one of Blake's biggest fear. So shout out to Jane from Barara Beach Chalets for setting that up. Papa Jay and Liana are staying at the chalet next door and we're staying for a few nights. I'm so happy Leo is starting to like the water. He had so much fun in the afternoon. Here's a behind the scenes of Blake and Jay's couple photo. We got ready for dinner. Oh, by the way, they are kangaroos everywhere here. And that's all for our first day. I'll update you on the rest of the trip tomorrow. Day two of this beautiful view, we started off with some breakfast on the balcony featuring Leo and the bin chicken, of course. Here's Mia having a little sneeze. Leo and I went for a drive to the shops and then we got ready for the beach. We waited for our friends to arrive that live close by. I still can't get over how much better Leo is with water. Now he doesn't want to leave when we go to the beach and he really loves showers too. It was a beautiful beach day. Even little Mia had her first dip in the water and she took it like a champ. Oh, look at my two children. They're so damn cute. The beach made everyone pretty tired. Blake and Mia had a nap. Leo and I just chilled. He was happy watching some Cat in the Hat and then Miss. Rachel. Jay and Liana came over for some Arvo drinks and nibblies. They are so good with the kids. And to end the night, here is Jay getting hit in the back with a toy arrow. Oh, that looks like it hurts. Wait till you see what my son did to his little sister. To start off another beautiful day in Barara, Leo came with me to get a coffee. To be completely honest, it was mostly just to get him out of the chalet for a bit. Then I nearly died because these cockatoos in the trees, they were black by the way, so stunning, but they were eating these acorns and then just dropping them on the deck and one nearly hit me in the head. My life flashed before my eyes, I'm not gonna lie. Here's some kangaroos that we saw on our way to the beach, just chilling. Well, actually it's not a beach, it's more like a lagoon lake thing. It's so much better to take the kids there because the water is flat and not too deep, so it's perfect. One of my new bikinis from Shein, I'm obsessed. Hey cutie. Oh, and here's Papa Jay once again doing something without thinking about consequences and hitting his foot on a rock. Looked cool though. <laughs> Chilled on the balcony before going out to dinner again. It's lucky we have a seven seater now, that's all I can say. Mia played the pokies a little bit and here's the moment that'll melt your freaking heart. Leo was reaching out his arms and I didn't know why. He wanted to hug his sister. Oh my god, get out of here. He just did it over and over again and then he gave her kisses. Stop it, I'm done. Anyway, here's a behind the scenes of our last TikTok, Blake trying to navigate the giant bin chicken. And let's finish off with a stunning sunset.